Hey, fourth grade saxophones. Hope you guys are doing well. I miss you. All right, welcome to our very first uh, saxophone video lesson. Um, so today we're gonna need your saxophone and you're gonna need your book. All right, so we're gonna start out with sitting on the floor and putting together just our mouthpiece and neck. All right, we'll really be careful putting on that reed. All right, and then we'll go to playing the whole saxophone today. Okay, so I am sitting on the floor and first thing we're gonna do when you open your case, make sure you remember words to the ceiling. All right, I'm gonna get out just the reed. Take that reed out. While you're taking it out, make sure you check it. Make sure that we don't have any cracks in it. All right, you can really see it. Looks like there's like some fuzz on it. Anyway, make sure there's no cracks on it. Um, if you have any cracks at all or uh, like pieces where it's broken, and you have extra reeds, awesome. You can throw away broken reeds, all right, and get out a new one. Um, we wanna be careful, like, we don't wanna use up reeds too fast, all right, and this is why we have to be really careful with reeds, make sure we're not touching the tip of them um, so that they don't accidentally break, all right. But it does happen over time, so check your reed, make sure it's not broken. Um, if you only have a few reeds in your case, and we're going to be really careful with them. We're going to just have to make them last. Even if uh, even if they're a little bit broken, you might have to. It's better to have a slightly broken reed than no reed at all. So um, we're going to put that reed in our mouth. Awesome. We are going to just take out our neck, just the neck, and our mouthpiece. We're going to start with that today. All right, so neck and our mouthpiece. So you might need a little cork grease if it's hard to get on. Um, hopefully it's okay. So remember, we don't need to put it all the way down. Only put it like maybe even halfway. We're just going to wiggle it back and forth, wiggle it on there. All right, so that's good. Awesome. Okay, so we want to make sure that the opening of our mouthpiece, let's see if you can see this, the opening of our mouthpiece is going to be towards the ground, the same place where this neck opening is for the body of the saxophone, that's also to the ground, right? Make sure that we don't have our mouthpiece on upside down, okay? All right, then we're gonna get our ligature so we can put this reed on. All right, so after you hopefully got your reed nice and wet, we're very carefully going to take our reed all right, remember the part of the reed that's flat that has words. So mine says Rico, most of yours also says Rico. We're gonna put that part against the flat part of the mouthpiece that has the opening. All right, so we're gonna set that down. Remember, we wanna make sure we can see just a hair of black over the top of our, eh. Let's see if this will focus in on this. Eh, mine's not lined up. We want a hair of black over the top of our mouthpiece. All right, so there we go. So you can kind of see that. All right, so make sure you have let that lined up. We don't want too much black, and we also don't want our reed sticking out from the mouthpiece. So hair of black, then we're going to carefully take our ligature, and we're going to slide it down, make sure we don't hit the reed at all. All right, and adjust the reed with the size of your... the by touching the sides of it, not by pushing down on the tip, All right? That's one way that they can easily break. So we're gonna adjust it, pull that ligature down so that you can make sure you see the curve of the back of the mouthpiece, right? Make sure you see that curve, awesome. All right, and then we're gonna tighten our, uh, the ligature screws, all right? To tighten it, you turn them away from you, like the opposite way where, from where you are, all right? If, they're not tightening, then you're probably turning them the wrong way. All right, just until they're tight. Cool. Make sure that the screws of the ligature are on the same side as the reed. All right, so then we should have our neck looking like this. We've got the open side that where the body of the saxophone is going to go. All right, with the screws there facing the, the ground and our, our reed facing the ground. Awesome. Okay, so I just came back over to my chair. So you're gonna take your neck and mouthpiece and you're gonna to go to a mirror, 
All right, and this is what you're gonna practice. We're gonna make sure that our reed goes right onto our bottom lip. Set it on your bottom lip, all right? It's gonna roll over your bottom teeth into your mouth. Your top teeth go on top of it, all right? And then we're gonna like have nice firm corners. We're gonna make sure we're not puffing our cheeks at all. Keep our chin nice and flat, good. It's gonna stick out this way. It's not like a clarinet it has a little bit different of an angle. Right, so you don't want your mouthpiece like down. You wanna make sure it's out, okay? So, close those, those lips around it. And we're gonna blow air straight through it. Sounds like a nice goose call, right? All right. Good, make sure we get a good sound out of it. If for some reason you're not getting a sound, check that reed. There's probably something wrong with the reed if the sound is not coming out right, all right? Make sure that you're not getting your tongue in the way at all, all right? We'll talk about tonguing probably at your next lesson, all right? Just double check that in the mirror. Pause this video. Make sure you're not puffing your cheeks. Awesome. All right, now we're going to put the whole saxophone together. All right, guys, I'm back on the floor by my case. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna carefully set down the neck in my case, or you can set it on your lap or something, just somewhere that's safe so you can put the rest of the saxophone together. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take out our neck strap. So go ahead and take that neck strap off, out, put it on. Awesome. Great, now we're gonna just carefully, remember, take our body of our saxophone out, lifting it by the bell, all right, and in the spots that don't have any keys. Good, I'm gonna set it down. Remember, we have to remove this cap, this end cap. This protects it when it's in the case, so make sure each time you always put it back in. Don't just leave that in your case somewhere. This needs to go on your saxophone when you put it away each time. All right, so we're gonna carefully put the body of our saxophone onto the next strap, all right? Awesome, set it carefully your lap then we're going to take out our neck that we already have ready to go all right and remember the bell of the saxophone comes out this way so our neck goes the opposite direction right you see that cool so the bell comes this way neck goes the opposite way so make sure we get that lined up cool then our next screw we're going to tighten awesome so that reed is towards the floor Cool, now we're gonna go back over to our chair. Okay guys, so make sure that you're sitting in a chair, all right, nice and tall, <clears throat> feet flat on the ground. All right, the next thing is we have to adjust our neck strap, all right, because right now, mine would hit like my neck. So we wanna make it so that our mouthpiece is coming over and hitting right to our bottom lip. So I'm definitely gonna have to adjust mine. So the best way to adjust it is set your saxophone right on your lap, all right, set it on your lap, and then you're gonna use your hands, both hands, and we have to learn how to use this neck strap, okay? So what I like to do is one hand I pull down, the other hand I pull up. So you might wanna have your parents help you at first to figure out how to adjust it, all right? And when we're back together again, I'll make sure everybody is at the right spot. You're just gonna to have to do your very best at home to make sure that it's adjusted and high enough. So we want it to go right to our bottom lip. All right, so it's gonna rest right on your neck, on that neck strap. So mine's going right to my bottom lip right now. All right, so that feels pretty good. All right, I wanna make sure we don't like add extra stress to our neck at all because we're like really trying to reach. We wanna make sure that mouthpiece goes right to our mouth. We don't bring our mouth to wherever the mouthpiece is, okay? Awesome, so when we are playing, we are gonna sit kind of on the side of the chair like when we're at school. All right, we sit on the side of the chair. So it depends on what kind of chair you're in. You might have to hold it and sit kind of on the side so that it can, it can come off and not hit anything, right? Awesome. So we wanna make sure that we adjust our mouthpiece so that your head is nice and straight. All right, we don't want anyone's head tilted. See how my head is like sideways, right? So you might have to loosen your neck so that you can move it around. So you first sit up nice and tall, look straight ahead. Preferably if you have your 
a music stand and you can put your books. I have my music stand and my book right here. All right. So adjust it so that your head can look straight at your book. All right. And we want to make sure that you adjust your mouthpiece. So turn that and turn your neck so that your saxophone neck, not your actual neck. We want that to be straight. All right. And then we'll tighten this up. Cool. So we can look straight ahead. Really, really, really important to get good posture when we're first, first playing. All right. <clears throat> Cause all these bad habits that if you get, they're going to be really hard to break. So be careful of sitting up tall, making sure that we're looking straight ahead and our saxophone goes right to our bottom lip. Awesome. So once you're all ready with that, then let's talk about how to hold the saxophone. All right. So for most of you, <clears throat> if you follow down where your, your reed is, all right, on this back side, follow that down. Good. And then most of you will have this black little dot here. And it looks like, I don't know, a little black button. Um, that's where your thumb goes. That's your thumb rest right on the top. This right here is called your octave key. So it's right below that octave key. Mine just happens to be silver on this specific saxophone. Okay. This is an older saxophone. Your saxophones are much nicer than this one. So your thumb, left thumb, left thumb goes on that black little thumb rest right there. Okay. And then our right hand is going to come down here. Yours. So mine looks like this. Mine's silver. Yours is going to be black. So your thumb is going to rest right underneath that thumb rest on that side. Okay. Your fingers on your right hand are just going to, so find these keys right here. One, two, three, pinky rest here. Your fingers are just going to very lightly set here. You're not using these keys on the right hand for a while. Okay. We are going to focus on our left hand. So thumb on our black thumb rest. And then we want Look here at the top, the first one here, you're skipping. Remember, we've talked about this, most of you, um, in, in class. So we skip this top one. Our pointer finger comes to this, the second key down, okay? And now this little tiny, cute little one, you're going to skip that one too. No finger goes on that one. And then our middle finger goes on this next key down, and our ring finger goes on the next one down from that, all right? And our pinky this long one here just kind of sets on top of. Okay, so these one, two, three are the most important. And those are the notes that we're going to learn right now when your thumb just stays right on the back that whole time. All right. So the first note that we are going to learn is called a B, a B. So everyone open your book to page four. All right. It looks like this. Looks like this. All right. Page four in your book. Okay, come down to like in the middle where it says making music. It says new note B in a blue box. All right, and it's going to show you what your fingers are going to do to play that B. All right, for saxophone, it's pretty simple. You're just going to push down your pointer finger. Pointer finger, that's it. All right, only our pointer finger. Your thumb stays right on that thumb rest. All right, so let's make sure this is going right into our mouth correctly. All right, cool. So on the side of our body, bring out that saxophone to the side of our body. Good. All right. So pushing down that first, that first uh, key, make sure we put our bottom lip, all right, on the reed on our bottom lip, roll it into our mouth, top teeth on top, firm corners, chin nice and flat. Go ahead and try to play that B. <laughs> Good. So I like to hold out these notes nice and long. If we were at school together, we would have a contest to see who would hold it the longest. So I want you to practice that when you're home. So we're going to just hold out the B first, just the B pointer finger down. Here we go. Take a deep breath. Ready? Let's try the next note now. So the next one, look in your book. New note is A. We're just going to add our next finger. It's You're going to have the fingers on either side of that little, tiny, cute little key. Okay? No fingers around that little one. All right? So we just have our pointer finger and our middle finger down, and that's it. Make sure you're not accidentally hitting anything else. Keep your head nice and straight. 
Adjust your mouthpiece as you need to. Make sure your neck strap is high enough so it's still going to your bottom lip. Cool, let's play the A together. Good, and now let's do that third note. It's called a G. We just need one, two, three. Add that next finger. Here we go, play that note with me, ready? Awesome. Okay, so let's look on page four of our book. Um, there are four songs that are on that page. So we're going to play through those right now. Make sure that you pause the video after I play them um, with you and then go ahead and practice those songs. This is a great time to really work on those. Don't just play through them once and move on. That's not how you get better at anything, right? You need to really focus in on like if there's a measure or like little parts of it that are messing you up, focus on those parts and then put it all back together. And that's how we learn for, you know, for beginners, that's how you learn music. For, you know, people that have been playing for many years, that's still how we learn music. All right, cool. So we're going to look at the first one and we're off. All right, so we're going to start out with the B, the first note we learned. So just your pointer finger is down. Make sure you're not putting your finger on that top key. It's a, that second key down right here. And if you ever need to look in the book, it'll show you on page two how to sit, how to hold it. All right. Use page two of your book or sorry, page three, page three in your book is going to show you how to hold it. If you're forgetting at any point. All right, here we go. And we're off on the B one, two, ready. And rest. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three, four. Awesome. Okay, so now I want you to go back and play that same song, and we're off with the other two notes that we learned. So play the same thing, but instead of the B, I want you to use A, and then play it again with the G, all right? So pause this video and go ahead and play that again. Okay, now we're going to play A Claire de la Lune. Okay, so for A Claire de la Lune, we are going to start out on our G. All right, so remember, just like on recorder, when you're not playing a note, your fingers are just going to kind of hover over. All right, keep your fingers there. It's just going to be kind of hovering over so that they're ready to go. All right, cool. So this one starts out with our G. We're going to go nice and slow. And play a Claire de la Lune. Here we go. Two, ready, and. Rest. 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 Awesome. I want you to pause the video, play that one a couple more times. If there's any, like, small parts of it that messed you up. Just focus on those, all right? Like the first measure. Let's play the first measure together. Here we go. Play the first measure. G, 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 A. Here we go. Ready? And. All right? And then you could go back and do it again and then put the next measure with it, all right? So that's how we're gonna, we're gonna get better when we practice it like that. Okay, let's go to the next one down, hot cross buns. Here we go. So this one's going to start right on our B. Here we go. Two, ready, and. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Awesome. Pause the video. Play that one again. All right. And now we're going to go on to Mary Had a Little Lamb, the last one. All right. Here we go. Starting with our B. One, two, ready, and. Rest. Rest. 
rest. Awesome. Make sure you practice those songs, play them um, throughout the week. All right. You can play along with this video or you can just play through them all by yourself. All right. Making sure that we're developing really good habits. Um, guys, I hope that you have a great week and I will post your next lesson next Tuesday. I miss you. Happy saxophone practicing. Bye guys.